I'm a huge fan of Minion stuff. So you guys know this. I've been making guides, written guides, video guides, making content in ARPG for a decade. I'm also a big fan of watching movies and a very, very talented actor that I'm literally fanboying, David Arbor, also called Jim Hopper from uh, Stranger Things. Alexei from uh, Black Widow, amongst others. This guy is fantastic. He tweeted out a little bit of tease that he's making a unique item for Last Epoch, and my, my head just exploded. And I was like, that's going to be a summoner helmet. That's a summoner helmet. David, if you're ever watching this, hit me up, man. I want to make a build with you on this. It would be so cool. This is the helmet. Wraith Lord's Arbor. I, I cannot really find a way to express how excited I am to make a build out of this. So the way I'm going to start playing on the launch on the 21st is I'm going to play a crit-based Chaos Bolt Warlock. And then after that, I will be playing a minion build. And I'm very likely aiming for this one. If I don't do this one, then I will be playing with another zombie approach, approach build that I have in mind. But I will be making this build. I... Just got to look at it. I don't know how I'm going to scale it yet. I would love to do this. Because it just looks absolutely phenomenal. I was a big fan of uh, Wraith in general. Judd told me that apparently I was the first streamer to ever cover Last Epoch five years ago. And that's because I looked at the Kickstarter and said, if they have a Necromancer class, I'll play this. And I have time in two weeks. It turns out... Judd told me that they literally sat in the office and said, you know what, guys, can we make a first iteration Necromancer in two weeks? And so they did, just to make me play. And I, I had no idea. I was, I was told now, five years later, that that's what happened. I literally did not know. So it's such a crazy, cool experience. And to then now, five years later, see them finally releasing the game, and someone as David Harbour making an item like this? I mean, my heart's just melting, man. I'm, I'm so thrilled. It's going to be so much fun. Um, my only take I have so far on the Wraith Lord helmet is uh, Wraith Fire. The Flame Wraiths, the way they clear, is just effective. But there is benefits of the bonuses. They're not getting to minion movement speed. So potentially we can look at range as a melee approach. Problem is, what this does is that whilst on max Wraith, the Wraith Lord will cast Necrotic Beams and regularly consume all of your non-Wraith minions to empower itself which gives it the temporary maximum health equals 10% of their maximum health and plus 10 flat spell damage for 10 seconds. Now, the thing is, this means you can't use other minions than the uh, the flame, the actual wraiths. So the question is, is it enough to power up and run a melee version with this or should we focus on the flames? I'm going to be going hard in on the theory crafting in this in the coming days. So I hope you guys will enjoy that and I hopefully will have a proper planner at least to show you before launch. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, the Wraith does scales with your summon Wraith tree and summons other Wraiths for you whilst in combat. So basically you have your Wraith tree and then you make the Wraith Lord summon the Wraith that you have now specced into your skill. And it's casting summon Wraith instead of summons a Wraith Lord that does this. That's the cool part with this. And I'm so excited because they've added some cool modifiers for minions like added flat damage, which is massive, especially for a minion army approach to have added flat damage to them. So we're going to see how, how effective we can make the build like this work. And because of the way that functions, we're moving away the 20 base mana cost of Wraith into the Wraith Lord, casting that for you, which means that we should theoretically be able to have a build that functions extremely well with a Wraith build where you don't have to compensate that mana spent. Which also means we can combine this with the Warlock's Chaos Bolts to buff them even further. So I'm very, very, very excited for this. Anyways... If you're excited, as excited as I am, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and I will catch you guys in the next video. And hopefully, we'll be having this in a proper planner before the launch on 21st February. Catch you guys then. Till then, stay safe. Keep rocking.